Welcome to today's last session, part three of Yahoo Foundation. And I'm very happy and pleased to have you all back here today with us, as well as Hans, our key speaker. And this is the second time which is well received so far when it comes to Yahoo Foundation and with a Pacific lens and how to engage your Pacific Hope workers. Um, I'm not going to take too much time. Um, Hans, I'll, I'll let you have the floor and um, take today's session. I'll be in the background, guys. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, Wiz. Yeah. Talo falava, malo elele, nisa pula minaka, kioranda, iha malo hani, talo hani, and uh, warm Pacific greetings. Um, and thanks again to uh, Wiz from Shop Care for uh, uh, hosting uh, this uh, this webinar, series of webinars. Uh, so this is the, the last one. And uh, and I know that um, those who have been uh, joining us uh, since we started, uh, uh, I hope, and I know that uh, you're getting gaining some knowledge and some um, maybe some action um, that you're looking to implement uh, in, within your workplaces. So um, just to start off, uh, I know we started uh, our series uh, with a karakia, um, and it was a new way in Karakia. And so uh, for today, uh, I'm going to use our WorkSafe, uh, one of our WorkSafe Karakia uh, in, uh, in Te Reo Māori, uh, just again to uh, you know, bring that diversity within our, uh, our webinar. So this is our, our WorkSafe Karakia. Koia mai te ao marama, te ara whakaputahi, te ara ka haumaru, i a mātou i te mahi, ki a kina mai, ki a hoki hauoraki, ki te kainga, ki a kōrero mai, mō te haumaru o te tangata, haumi e, hui e, tāiki e. All right. Um, Welcome again, and um, so today's um, seminar, or sorry, session, uh, it's pretty much uh, a, uh, you know, looking at uh, what are we going to do? What are some of our action points? Um, not so long ago, I undertook a um, facilitator's, facilitator's training or presentation, um, and it was uh, run by Wintech down in uh, Hamilton. And one of the things that they, uh, that I've it stuck with me and, and I'm implementing it, I'm using it as a, as I go out and facilitate our Port Arnufo program and engaging with workers, it basically is um, looking at our process of um, preparation as we've, um, you know, in our beginning, our starting presentation, we talked about um, um, identifying, knowing Pacifica, um, and looking within your workplace, uh, the diversity, the makeup of your workforce, what background they come from, and knowing a little bit more of our, of our Pacifica workers. And then looking at their culture, what they bring, with them, um, the values, and uh, and then looking at how can you, as a as a business, as an employer, a manager, um, how can you engage with these uh, workers? And again, not just Pacifica; it could be Asian, it could be the Indian community, um, whatever the ethnicity that they uh, represent. So. And, and then we looked at uh, uh, the Yavu um, program of uh, establishing or creating a, a, a strong foundation of engagement with our Pacifica people. And so last week was uh, looking at, um, you know, where would the Yavu be applicable? How can, you know, where would you use the Yavu? And so we looked at areas like if you're developing policies, procedures, um, looking to engage your um, community, uh, depending on, on your organization, who are your, your clients, who are your audience, and how you want to really get some 
good, strong um, engagement, connections. Um, and so looking at how can the Yahoo uh, process um, benefit you as a business. Um, and so today, basically, it's uh, looking at uh, the application, looking at, um, you know, the, the Yahoo, uh, using that foundation and, uh, you know, noting some things that you want to uh, use within your workplace. And I, I know I've mentioned in the past uh, presentations um, that, you know, we've got the Pacific Language Week that's coming up that's been um, promoted by the Ministry of Pacific People. So you can go onto their website and look at the different languages. And so there's nine that we've identified and they are the Samoan languages, uh, Tongan, Cook Island, uh, Niuean, Fijian, Tokelau, Tuvalu, Kiribati, and the Rotuman. And so those are the nine main uh, languages that will be celebrated during this year. And there are themes uh, relating to the, the different languages. Um, so that could be your starting point, you know, starting with languages. So um, looking at, you know, building that foundation and and looking at your action point. What are you going to do to, um, you know, apply these learnings that you've been, uh, if you've been attending our, our webinars? So I will, I will share some examples. Um, and this is around workplace. Now, those who may have just joined uh, this uh, final webinar, I'm a health and safety inspector for WorkSafe New Zealand. I've been with the uh, organization since 95, started within the old Department of Labor, Immigration Service, as an officer there processing migrants coming into New Zealand and, and, and you know, looking at uh, establishing themselves in New Zealand as permanent residents or as a, a worker or a student or just a visitor. Um, and as they come through that process, you know, you, you start to look at them and, uh, and I've learned how to identify just different people, even just looking at their passport, yeah, yeah, that's the right person, uh, you know, and they're from this. And then I make a point to try and learn some greetings. So if that passport comes on on the counter again, I know it's from India. So I would say namaste, you know, I look at greeting them in that particular language because I know if I see it's a Tongan, malo elele, Samoan, malo sefua, and so forth and so forth. So, and that was for me as a starter. And so, and eventually I became a health and safety inspector um, and the role changed. Um, it was more focused around health and safety and going into the, the work areas, doing assessments. And if there was a serious harm accident, we would investigate. So early days of uh, under the OSH regime, we as an inspectors or the regulator at the time, um, we would do everything. But today's... Uh, the structure is, you know, if you're a general inspector, you would just do assessment. Uh, if you were a, um, a, an investigations inspector, you would be given a file, uh, a case where a, a worker has been seriously injured or killed in the workplace. You would start the process of um, interviewing, collecting evidence, and where, where did everything go wrong? Um, so in those early state days of as an inspector, you know, you engage with the business owners, um, you engage with the workers, whether it's just a general visit or when there's a, an incident that has occurred. So for me, it was, you know, starting to, um, you know, use those skills that I learned uh, as an immigration. Even prior to joining the Department of Labor, I worked in the private sector in the manufacturing side um, steel, wire, and and um, I was asked to work alongside some Pacific workers and who always nod their head when uh, there was a toolbox meeting and instructions were given. And I will, you know, and I look at these guys who are going, yes, 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 understand. But then when the meeting finished, they would ask, turn around, and ask me, oh, in Samoan or in Tongan language, oh, what did they, what did the boss say? Um, you know, can you tell us a little bit more? So I go, oh, okay. Um, 
So, you know, and then we started to see that, hey, okay, English is second language. They didn't understand. They were just trying to please the boss by nodding their heads. So these things I've, I've sort of, you know, learned that, hey, um, our Pacific people, um, yes, English is second language. And sometimes the culture, the, the European culture of how things, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, work within the business um, is totally different. And I think I've shared this in the past um, that, you know, when we're dealing with um, seasonal workers or um, workers that come under the RSC program to harvest uh, fruit, fish, vegetables or plant the forest um, here in Aotearoa. Um, you know, they come, they, they get inducted, they, they work. But a lot of them, um, they've been asked to work uh, night shift. Now, that's a culture shock for our, our Pacific workers because uh, they're coming to New Zealand. Um, back, at, back in the islands, they only work from a certain time in the morning uh, until uh, later in the afternoon. There's nothing around about you know going and working late nights. So this was this was um, uh, after we carried out a, like a, a scoping project, looking at these workers. Why are they not uh, you know following procedures? Why are they not comfortable or they're settled? Why aren't they settled you know in in the in New Zealand? And it's because one of the things was they they are not familiar with um, night shift work. You know, that's the time when they go to sleep or just socialize with the, the village and, and then they have a bit of a kai or their meals and then they go to bed. But that this is a shock to their system. So, uh, again, you know, for the, the business to understand, hey, you know, we're taking them out of their, their village and planting them in New Zealand and expecting them to perform, you know, in the night shift, um, you know, time of the night, you know, when everybody's asleep, you're expecting them to work. So it's a bit of a culture shock. And again, you know, that's where as a business, um, understanding, you know, the the, the, the culture, the, the, the environment where our Pacific workers come from, and also other uh, ethnicity. So... Hopefully, you know, you've got some, uh, your pen and paper and making some notes and saying, well, you know, what, what, you know, after these last two sessions, this is our third and final, um, what am I going to do as a business or as a manager, you know, to engage with my workers? And I've mentioned the first thing um, is, you know, looking at your, uh, maybe knowing your workers, knowing the culture. You know, like the, the 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 slide in front of you. You know, know your kava. Now, I know kava or ava is used in the islands for ceremonial purposes. Now, for me as a uh, an inspector, I've seen it being used as a, a lunchtime. Uh, you know, quench your thirst, drink, uh, and then go to work. But kava uh, sometimes tend to uh, you know interfere with your thinking and sometimes uh, and some some researchers are saying it's like drinking alcohol while you're having your uh, during the day so it does impair the um, you know if it's consumed in liters but it's for my uh, experience with kava it's more of a ceremonial uh, drink uh, for various purposes but Again, that's uh, that slide or that picture saying, know your kava, know your people, know your Pacific workers or uh, whatever ethnicity they come from and their culture, their values. What do they bring uh, to your workplace and how can that be a, a positive thing? How can you tap into that? All right. And also that other picture there of the, um, the, the Micronesia, the Melanesia and Polynesia, again, this is a good start looking at where are those Pacific Islanders sit so you, you know it, it's again uh, you can look up uh, Google Maps and and you'll come across you know Polynesia it's Tuvalu, Tukelau, Samoan, Cook Island, Society Island uh, and so forth and so forth and Vanuatu sits under Melanesia as well as New Caledonians so it's understanding knowing what Nisia where they come from Polynesia, Melanesia or Micronesia 
Know your people. Okay, our, our next slide, please. Oh, I can do that? Oh, yeah, thank you. So this is a cross-section of your foundation, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's on, on our webinar today. So, and I'll just stick to the very top one, um, and then you can see the, 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 the foundation as it uh, uh, goes further down to the common value or co common cultural values. So in the beginning, planning and preparation. Um, in the workplace uh, scenario, um, whenever I go out to um, investigate or going to a workplace to do an assessment, uh, I make a phone call. You know, what's your workforce? Uh, numbers, you know, 100, 70, 80. Um, what's your makeup? You know, so that way, as you gathering that information from the business, um, you know what resources you want to take with you. So if you're talking about going out to the community, find out who are the people that you're going to call, who are the audience in that community school hall or community hall or church that you're going to go and engage. You know, what is the makeup? So that way you're preparing your resources, preparing your talanoa, preparing maybe some greeting words, knowing the language, um, you know, also preparing, the, hey, these are mostly Pacific Islanders. I better take some food, organize some kai. So that way, because food, Food is a symbol of thanks, hospitality, uh, used to build relationships. It has a spiritual significance, recognizing generosity, hospitality, and sharing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Food plays an important part if you are engaging. So even if you're going to a worker, for example, you know, one of the workers um, has had a bit of a situation at home and you're looking to go and and find out, have a talk, talanoa, a kōrero with them. You know, sometimes turning up with a couple of boxes of pizza or, you know, uh, some um, something that, you know, to sit down and, and share a kai, a meal uh, with them, and then that breaks down all the barriers and, and builds that awesome uh, engagement relationship, you know. Rather than turning up pen and paper and your diary, you know, to make notes, it, you know, it's sort of like, uh, ooh, looks more very official, um, you know. So, but, you know, at the end of, you know, once you build that relationship, uh, you, you, you creating that open, openness, uh, with the, with the worker that you're going to see or, or, or community group or a group of, um, you know, individuals that you're wanting to target. So uh, our next slide, please. Uh, oh, sorry, we'll just stay there. So, oh, please, uh, sorry. So planning and preparation, identifying the relevant stakeholders. Uh, so your stakeholders could be someone that you can take with you when you go out into the community. So when whenever I've done that in the past, if it's a work-related, I would, uh, if it's a, you know, if I'm not um, confident in speaking, uh, say, Fijian, uh, to uh, in knowing that this person I'm going to interview or talk to is a Fijian, I'd, I'd organize a uh, interpreter or maybe look within work, uh, WorkSafe, uh, someone that speaks the language. Um, use even your workplace. Um, you know, maybe someone that uh, is, a, is a leader within your organization that, uh, that everybody looks to uh, and they feel confident, comfortable uh, talking to, take that person along. And, and if he or she can communicate in Samoan language, Tongan, to the individual that you want to go to or to the community, use, use that, those workers because they are leaders in their own right. So planning, preparation, identifying relevant stakeholders, engage and seek participation from your stakeholders. Okay. So um, yeah, again, looking at how they can contribute towards your engagement. Um, and then going into that last part there, gather information and review. So the purpose of why you're going out to um, to, to meet with the, the individual worker or the community or whatever the, the audience is. But follow that, uh, that layer of um, the foundation there. So understanding the context, environment, and everything that we spoke about. 
um, the responsibility and Theo, Theo is uh, again um, preparing, nurturing um, and build the, the, and strengthen that relationship and, and that bar is the gap. So if you're out there um, you know, with no purpose, not to build, not to nurture, the bar, the gap widens. But if you're there to build and nurture and strengthen that relationship, that bar or that gap closes. Okay. All right. So we'll go to the next uh, slide, please, uh, we. All right. So real quick here, the, the laying the foundation of your yadu, if you are looking at doing some action points. So understanding the context, know who um, we are as Pacifica, understanding the common cultural uh, elements of Pacific peoples, taking time to have a talanoa. You know, don't, you know, I know you might go, okay, I've got one hour before I go and, uh, you know, pick up the kids from rugby or whatever other appointments. You know, plan, you know, making sure that you've got plenty of time to go in there and have that talanoa, that dialogue with uh, um, the audience or the person that you're looking to meet with and engage. To understand what's important to, and not to make assumptions. So sometimes when I go into uh, an interview, uh, uh, a victim, if, and this is a workplace context, you know, I make sure I've got, I, even though it might take only half an hour or an hour interview, I make sure I block out everything, make it two hours. Because I know I'm going to go in there, maybe have a talanoa around your fucker papa, you know, build that relationship, you know, talk about family, how, you know, how's you think work is doing, you know, have, have you enjoyed working for this particular company? Then you slowly but surely start to uh, bring in, you know, those questions and, you know, what, what your purpose or why you're there. So that understanding the context, know who we are as specific of people or Asian or Indian. The next one there is uh, understanding environment, make time to connect, as I said, make the time. Don't just say, oh, my, I've got to go. Uh, can I come back later and uh, finish this this interview? You know, make the time. Um, and even um, even if you just have to say, hey, I, I've got to, I'm going to have to organize something to pick because uh, I'm, you know, we're kind of better over time or whatever. You know, organize something to pick up the children or whatever it is has to be done. You know, stay focused on your meeting or your, your your dialogue with that individual or the, the audience so so yeah make uh, understanding the dynamics of the community learning basic cultural practices and protocols um, I think I mentioned earlier um, one of the in investigations inspectors rang me and said Hans um, we've got a fatality uh, the, 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 the victim is Tongan um, the family of Tongans, they live in uh, this area. Uh, we're looking to go over there. And I say, okay. Um, they were just seeking some guidance around the, the protocols or cultural practices. Um, so basically, I just said, you know, this is some of the things that you need to do. Um, simple things like when you go to the house, um, yep, yeah, remove your shoes. Um, go in there and greet them, learn some cultural greetings. Um, you know, and, and, and don't uh, go in there and stand while they're sitting. You know, make sure you come down, find a chair, ask if they you can grab the chair from the kitchen and sit down, you know, um, and, and, and you know, be sensitive of their uh, the environment um, that they're in and even the situation that's occurred. Um, you know, show humility, show support, um, you know, show that aroha, the love for, you know, that, knowing that they've just lost a, a loved one or someone's been seriously harmed through an accident or whatever the, the situation may be. Just show, um, you know, empathy uh, towards them. And, um, yeah, and so having that uh, um, understanding of the environment that uh, you're going into. Okay, our next slide, please, uh, Wes. So this is all laying your foundation. So the next, the third part there is understanding responsibility and recognize your contribution. And so recognizing the diversity within multiple layers of Pacific communities. So they're either New Zealand born versus those born in the islands. So native speaking, youth, et cetera. So, and, and it is so, uh, you know, real that statement there, you know, whenever I've gone in there, you, you 
when you talk to a New Zealand born, you'll know they, they, they're well educated, they speak well. But when you go and uh, talking to someone that, um, you know, migrated to New Zealand, um, been working at a certain place for years and years, their English is not the best, you know. So you need to adjust. And maybe if you've got a colleague coming along and he or she uh, is very uh, uh, familiar with the, the cultural protocols, allow them to greet and allow them to acknowledge, you know, in the cultural way. Similar to what you do when you, if you've been onto a marae, you're going onto a marae, you'll be welcomed on, then they'll ask you to speak. Now, if you're not uh, familiar with te reo Māori, you'll be able to have someone who may be a koma to a status, they'll stand and speak on, on your behalf and, and they'll make that connection. Same thing. And so, you know, but recognising the diversity, okay? And then providing culturally appropriate channels for Pacific communities to have a voice. And so, um, understand the responsibilities in that, uh, those bullet points. And then the teo leva, so it's build, nurture, and strengthen the relationship. So, acknowledging, acknowledging that, uh, Acknowledging and valuing the um, the, the, the person's uh, cultural, uh, their beliefs, their values, um, you know, not going and putting them down, um, you know, acknowledge also the surroundings, um, recognizing uh, the, the values that they bring, you know, it could be, you know, that they might bring out uh, some kai for you before you start, uh, you know, your, your, your dialogue or your talanoa. And, and, and a lot of times that happens. You know, that's just showing that they are respecting you for who you are representing. It could be the business uh, or you're representing a, a, a government department or whatever it may be. So, you know, if, if they put some kai in front of you and you just had your dinner, hey, you know, just acknowledge and thank you, you know, thank them for it. Uh, those are, that's just showing their, um, you know, their, uh, acknowledgement for you um, and not treating it as a one-off transaction take time uh, long-term investment it takes time so you know it's not a tick box exercise here I've been over there so even if you had to continue and going and visiting the family or seeing them at the at your workplace bring them into your office you know continue that, that relationship you know and, and just checking on with them how are they doing? And that just shows them that you you care as a as a, an employer, as a business. You know, if you value your workers, you know, also the workers, um, they can bring a lot to the table uh, for the business. And so, um, so yeah, so build and nurture and strengthen that relationship. Um, you know, even if you, um, you know, if. If everything is ironed out, the the the, the, the problem solved. Um, even if you see them, just check in with them. How are you doing? You know, it's not just a, a wave from a distance, but it's sometimes having a, a face to face, just a cordial lunchtime. Go and sit with them and have a your lunch or your morning tea or even just a cuppa and just tell them all. That just shows you're 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 building and nurturing that uh, relationship. Okay, um, our next slide, please. Uh, okay, so just here yeah, ending this part before we have any Q and A. So again, just using a picture there. You know, um, if you are looking to engage the community or you're looking to make some changes, uh, and so that picture there, you know, I, uh, you know, shows a European gentleman giving instructions. Everyone's huddling around. You know, and maybe he's just directing his remarks to everyone, but more so this person here on your on our left, um, and he could be the interpreter. He could be the the leader of um, the, you know the the team that speaks fluent, maybe Fijian or Samoan, and you're addressing everyone, but you're you know looking towards him, hoping that he will uh, help translate and get that message across to the team. 
but it's engaging. It's you know bringing everybody together. So uh, again, the the four points there: know who Pacific peoples are, um, and, and and basically understanding everything that they bring. Make time to connect. Yep, simple. Make time. Uh, make time to you know whether it's a you know just bring them into the office, have a have a chat, have a discussion. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be around work. It just be, you know, how's your son doing uh, with his rugby? Because you already know that. You, 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 you are knowing your people. And in that four, uh, which is the teo leva, build and nurture and strengthen the relationship. And, um, and so that's, that's the yavu. I'm, you know, it could, it, I could go on in, in terms of a, a bigger picture, uh, but, you know, rather keep it simple, you know, about what can you do as an organization, as a leader, as a manager, what can you do to start um, creating that, uh, that or building that engagement with your Pacifica or with your workforce, even if they are European, you know, using some of the Pacifica um, approach through the Yahoo, I'm sure that they'll welcome that. You know, knowing the person, you know, their, their background and, you know, what they're going through and, and make the time to connect with them. So it's not just for Pacifica, even though it is um, from my experience, you know, going out and, and meeting with our Pacifica workforce uh, and even some uh, who um, are owners of businesses, you know, they uh, sometimes they they focus more on the uh, all the the logistics uh, or the or the paperwork, but they forget about uh, their workforce. So if you once you value your workforce and you're building that strengthening relationship, they'll um, it'll be a payback. They they will look after you. They will commit to your business, uh, and because they know they value. You know, my journey as an inspector, I've been to workplaces, uh, for example, in um, in the industry where there's a laundries, you know, the cleaning uh, enterprises where they go clean. You know, I've met some uh, elderly Pacifica workers um, and, and when you talk to them, you know, years of experience and um, they migrated to New Zealand back in the days when in New Zealand, uh, you know, when there was a person from MAF used to walk up the aisle and spray the you know, to fumigation, to kill any bugs that might have come from the Pacific, you know, and they would walk up the aisle. And I'm one of them. I remember those days in New Zealand. And then they used to give you a pack with, uh, um, you know, the uh, Kiwi tiki, uh, the New Zealand tiki that you wear and, and other um, ornaments and stuff. Um, but, yeah, but... These ladies, uh, mostly were, were women. They they they've been uh, here that long, but they've been working as cleaners. And I said, "Oh, have you ever thought of you know?" They said, "No, my my the company. This is I'm loyal to the company." And they've expressed that in the the, the Pacific way, um, their language, and saying, "This is a company that's looked after me, uh, have helped me pay my bills," and so they stay loyal to them. And so, you know, and, and you'll find, uh, I, I, again, I don't know who's online and what business you're from, but I'm sure you have people that are, are loyal to, to yourselves as, a, as an organization and they're willing to, you know, uh, work hard and, and, you know, support the business. Um, and so acknowledge them, uh, recognize their contribution. That's, again, one of the values that they bring. You know, their loyalty, their love, their respect for you as a, a business owner. So if you build on that, you know, use it to, to strengthen your relationship um, and acknowledge it. Um, get to know them. All those things, uh, the four points there, um, you know, for our Pacifica people, you'll find uh, success uh, in your engagement. So, um, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, even if you just, you know, after we uh, log out and finish this webinar, um, you know, make it a point. Okay, coming up lunchtime, I'm going to go to the lunchroom 
and see as they come through, have my lunch ready, and just go and, you know, Tanofa or Maloe Lele, uh, find out when we have our um, language weeks, go on to the Ministry of Pacific Peoples and, and uh, you know, note those, those weeks where we celebrate those languages and, you know, get some of your staff to come and help you if, if you know they are Samoans or Tongans or Fijians or whatever uh, ethnicity, Pacific, um, get them to give you a hand uh, putting that together. Just start off with that. Then, you know, you just start the ball rolling in terms of your engagement. So so that's just my thoughts, uh, ladies and gentlemen, those who are online. Uh, really appreciate uh, you, uh, you know, joining and hopefully uh, it has sort of helped uh, with some information on how you can um, build that uh, strong foundation of engagement with your uh, Pacific workforce. Um, or if you're an organization that goes out into the Pacifica, building in uh, that strong foundation using the Yabu. Uh... So going into um, some Q and A, if there's any, if there's any, um, but um, but my uh, information is there. My email, if you want to email me directly, uh, we have had one of the uh, attendees uh, of the webinars contact me. They want to talk a little bit more of uh, how we can support uh, them going forward within their uh, organization. Um, and they're set up as a number of different um, outlets, uh, stores around the country. So um, so hopefully we can uh, um, work something out there. But yeah, my email's there, hans.key at worksafe.govt.nz. And i um, happy to uh, you know connect up uh, via email. So, any uh, pressing Q and A, uh, ladies and gentlemen, those online. Uh, thank you, Hans, for uh, for that. Um, yeah, I'm opening up the lines. Um, we've we we there's a lot of individuals who dropped off um, in the last couple of minutes. Um, so we only have um, like two or three individuals left, but that's all good. Uh, hopefully, some of them have got some really good questions um, for you, Hans. But uh, thank you again. Uh, thanks, guys, for sticking around. Um, I'm pretty sure the others will uh, uh, will also um, get a time to uh, review some of the questions being asked today. Any questions, guys, for Hans? Hans, it seems like you're doing a pretty good job, mate. It seems like you're doing a pretty good job with your examples, with discussing the elements and, and describing them. Uh, uh, job well done. Job well done. Uh, last chance, guys, for any questions before we, uh, we close off? Nothing? Okay. Just a, a quick plug-in. Uh, yes. Sorry, no, Wes. No, Just no, a quick no. plug-in. So, you know, if, if any online uh, on, on the webinar, you know, if you want to experience a bit of, um, uh, you know, Pacifica environment, uh, if any of you have had uh, opportunity to, you know, attend uh, or just visit, uh, you know, the um, various um, markets. Um, if you, uh, I've, I've lived in South Auckland uh, most of my life, and and the Otara markets uh, and the Mangere markets, you know, it's very vibrant, very, uh, you know, colourful. Um, and if you, you know, on a Saturday morning, make a, a time to go and and just walk around, you know, feel the the atmosphere, the and the surrounding people at their stores, and you can sort of just close your eyes for a second. You think, "Oh, I'm in Apia, or I'm in Nukualofa, or I'm in Suva." You know, uh, you you feel you start to feel that that environment, and and even just having a, a chat to some of the people selling their produce, or there could be some Fiji Indians, or could be some Asians, or or even could be some Pacifica. So again, making a start for your own personal self. You know, to start connecting with the, the Pacifica. We also have uh, that's coming up in March is the uh, for the secondary schools. It's the uh, ASB Polyfest, where they uh, the students perform their uh, their cultural um, dance and music. Uh, 
And so that's another opportunity to um, connect up with the, the Pacifica, you know, getting to, you know, understand a little bit of that, that culture that comes with uh, our Pacifica people. They also have diversity uh, stages, a diversity stage where the various uh, Asian the groups uh, perform their culture. So again, it's another way of um, or activities that you can connect up with uh, uh, the community. So yeah, so but yeah, so it's an uh, use the, those opportunities, uh, events uh, around the community to you know connect up with your Pacifica and as a start getting to know. Um, you know, your Pacific. So I feel like I could plug that one in there. Excellent. Uh, thanks for that, Hans. No, it is appreciated. Um, guys, and I'll be just be closing off. Um, we will be making these webinars available on our Shopcare YouTube channel. Uh, please feel free to rewatch them and share them with others. And then lastly, just guys, uh, thank you, Hans, for sharing your passion and expertise with the, with the community. It is well received and much appreciated. And then lastly, thank you guys um, all attending and engaging. I hope you all have a positive outcome and engaging and laying down the foundation of Yahoo, Yahoo and Tel Aviv with your workplace. Until next time, guys, thank you very much and have a good time.